Hi, this is a quick screencast on how to set up Drupal Cron to run through cPanel versus through Drupal on user visits. So first we need to go to our configuration and then system and actually visit the Cron page. By default, Cron is set to run at an interval based on when a user visits your site. So when a user visits your site on hour three after the last run, it's going to execute the Cron and that user is going to have a sluggish result when they're visiting your website. So let's go ahead and set that to never and then save. Okay, now we need to get our Cron URL and the Cron key code so that way we can set it up through cPanel. To do that, go to Reports and visit your status report. Okay, so right here, your cron information. What we need is this key. Go ahead and copy that key. Okay, I already have cPanel open for this account, and we want to get into yours. So we want to search for cron jobs, which if you're unfamiliar with cron jobs and you're a Windows person, it's the scheduler. It runs tasks. I want it to run twice a day. I mean, you can change this if you want to make it every six hours. You could change that. Um, now our command. First, we want to change directory into the account's public HTML folder, because that's where the cron.php resides. And then we want to ampersand that and put the path to our PHP. And we want to add the F flag. This allows us to send parameters to the file. So then we put in the file name, and now we're going to paste our cron key. Now, if we didn't put the F parameter and we merely put cron.php question mark equals cron key, it would literally look for that file name, which it's obviously not going to find. So then you go ahead and add new cron job. It's added into the system. Now, if you want to test your cron job, go ahead and set your email address. So now anytime a cron runs, it will email you the result. So since we're going to debug this, we want to set this to, let's just go to common settings and say every five minutes. And then hit edit line. So now you just have to wait till minute five. And if you come back with script undefined, remote IP address, all these other like basic PHP notices, your script's running fine. If you get actual errors from Cron, then you need to go back and make sure you copy the key correctly or anything else. So I hope this helps some people improve their site performance with Drupal, and thanks.